Hey everybody, Train Conductor Batman here, and today we're doing Train Simulator 2012 or 13, I believe, and we're doing Trains vs. Zombies number two. That's right, they got so much support for Trains vs. Zombies number one. They were given tons of funding, and they said, make this game, the masses demand it. And I didn't play Trains vs. Zombies one because I was too afraid how scary it would be. So we're going to do with number two, and it's going to be horrifying, let me tell you. Look at that lightning slamming into the trains versus end zombies, and even the train. It connects all the elements of trains and zombies together, even in the artwork. So we're going to get started. I um, have not really played Train Simulator 2013, because I'm not that much of a pro gamer, so I really don't play these games that much because they're just too extreme for me. So as uh, soon as this starts loading, it's a very long load because it's the most graphically... Um, uh, intensive game ever created. Where it all began, the evening starts unremarkably. You are an you are engineer on a stopping train to NYC Penn Station with Jimmy, a fellow engineer and friend. People outside are enjoying the October sun with no clue as to the horrors about to befall them. Fortunately, the safest play to be tonight is inside of a train. That sounded like thunder. I hope it's not coming this way. Have an evening plan with the kids after we finish at New York City Penn Station. Let's get going. There are quite a few stops left. Shut your damn mouth, Jimmy. Starting the train up. Starting the train up. I have to wait for the other train. What's this? This? Starting the train up. Gonna take a train adventure. Starting the train up. I'm gonna have a train adventure. Train adventure. What we're doing. Having an adventure with me and Jimmy. Traveling around the local stations. That's because it's time for exaltations. So yes, we um been a train conductor for about uh, 35 years now. Uh, it's one of my passions. I've been doing this for years. Even as a even as a child, me and my pep pep, we'd go downstairs. He had a whole whole big train station, and uh, it, it was it was wonderful. He would show me each type of train, and I would ask him, Pep, Pep, what's this type of train? What's this type of train? What's this type of train? And he would say, he would say, don't touch the trains! And so he was he was a very loving grandfather, and, and to this day, he holds a place in my lower sphincter. So, um, this is our max speed. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I hope you can. I hope you can speed my goddamn mouse cursor. But, uh, uh, you, maybe you can't. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. Whatever. Anyhow, we need to get that to 100 miles per hour because this is a speed train to Atlantis. So we got to get there real quick. And let me tell you, the horror just begins immediately. You're gonna, you're gonna say, "Wow, there's get, there's some horror going on real quick, real soon going on here now." And it's, ju it's just gonna be ridiculous. The amount of horror. That's gonna be coming on. It's just gonna be unbelievable, and we should probably hit the goddamn brakes. All I want to do is slow down, game. All I want to do is slow the hell down. Now we're slowing down, so the zombies can't get my soul. We are reaching our first destination, Bristol Track. Repeat. Bristol track. If your stop is Bristol track, I'd like to repeat, there are zombies at Bristol track, and we will be dying. You will all be dead in a matter of moments. Bristol track, last call for Bristol track. I am one of the uh, premier train conductors in the, in the world. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm very good as a train conductor. As you can see, I've practiced for many years at becoming a train conductor, and so this is why we can go to the back car and look at it. Bristol track, it's right in front of us. It's the smallest track in existence. Oh my god. Why is this track so tiny? Oh, this is the tiniest track ever. No, keep going. Keep going, you hussy. 
Keep going. Everyone on the track's like, Jesus Christ. Right. If the zombies are coming, we're screwed is all I'm saying. And they are coming. I've seen them. I, I haven't seen any of the zombies, actually. Ta-da! All aboard! All aboard! Get on board! Board he make boards? All, all aboard! <coughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I am... As the passengers board, there's a strange tension in the air. There's a general sen sense of unease on your stomach. You vomit immediately. And so the adventures of extremely scary zombie land begins. <coughs> oh yeah. Look how sexy I am. Look at my sweet motherfucking face. Good lord, I am a sexy son of a bitch. Good god. Damn, man. Hope them zombies, you know, if the zombies come, all I'm gonna say is not the face. And it's just gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. So, as I was saying, uh, my grandfather was a uh, train conductor as well for 74 years. Uh, he was a very, very, very famous train conductor. He went around many, many different things. And he, he used to tell me stories like this one time there was a woman who got in the train covered in a raccoon suit. And what that meant was it was a, a suit literally made of raccoons. And so she came on yelling and screaming, that's the strangest looking sky I've ever seen. I got a bad feeling about this. Shut the hell up, Jimmy. So this woman gets on the train uh, with all these screaming raccoons on her. And my grandfather, you know, he's thinking, well, this ain't right. There ain't supposed to be raccoons on a train. So he goes up to the woman. Mind you, he's the conductor as well. Um, so he goes to, up to this woman, and she's, she says, I need extra seats because I got a raccoon suit on. And my grandfather just looks at her and, and backhands her as hard as he can, and she falls out of the train, out of a window. Window explodes. Raccoons start screaming. What kind of bridge is that? Raccoons start screaming. She, passengers screaming, Oh, my God, you slapped that lady with a raccoon suit. She flies out. We're passing a bunch of trees. Um, this is back in the past. They're passing a bunch of trees. Ra the her, the woman's head hits a tree as she's flying from the train. Head explodes like a bag of carrots. Raccoons immediately, because the raccoon, um, the costume, it's they're not like sewn together. They're just holding hands. All the raccoons are holding hands. They're in this for the money because she's paying them to be a suit. Raccoons let go, burst, explode. It looks like a raccoon bomb went off in the woods. Raccoons explode all over and that was back in um um that was back in Hempstead so there were tons of raccoons all over and for 30 30 odd years um Hempstead was known as the raccoon city because um a lot of um from the suit that's where they came from that's a true story and if you don't believe me I can get my grandfather here I'll have him on the show I don't even care this is a show now by the way Slowing down for the Levittown track. Gonna slow right down for the Levittown track. Slowing down for the Levittown track. Okay, so I'm guessing... No, go faster, you friggin' hussy. God damn it. Ta-da! All aboard the train! All aboard the train! Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Everyone get on the goddamn train. That's all I'm saying. Parking lots here, not very, uh, not very fancy. You can see it's just dirt roads and such. Just dirt. A lot of dirt's going on. A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt happening. So I'm going to be telling some more stories. The passengers boarding at Levittown look awestruck. Nobody can seem to comprehend the origin of the strange colored sky. That's what we're looking at, the sky? Oh, shit. All right. And we're off. <clears throat> oh, did I close the doors? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Uh, so we got 6.26 miles. That gives us some time for another story. Um, um, <clears throat> so back in the day when my grandfather was um, a ticket man, which is the people who go around and get the tickets, um, uh, he, 
he was getting the tickets from all the passengers and one time there was this very stout little fat man with a big mustache that went all around his face and it curved down and connected to his eyebrows and then went over his nose and then went into a, a mu it was like a beard that went down into a mustache and then um, so my, my grandfather gets to this old man and my grandfather says ticket please and in those days tickets were about um, maybe ten dollars so it was back in uh, back in uh, 80, 89 I believe um, so my grandfather says ticket please um, and the man looks up at him and he smiles and inside the man's mouth is a ticket and the man says you want to grab this but he doesn't say it with his mouth he has a tape recorder uh, inside of his chest and he presses the button and, and it's a little cassette player and it says you want to grab this so the, so this guy and it's not on a loop so he has to keep rewinding it and then keep hitting the play button so he he, he hits the play button and says you want to grab this and then he hits the rewind button and he hits the play button and says you want to grab this and my grandfather looks at this man he looks at this man and he takes his he takes his this is dispatch all trains carry on as normal i'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for this bizarre weather well thank you dispatch you're very beautiful so um my grandfather he takes his hand he takes his hand and he he backhands this man this man flies backwards slams into the window explodes window explodes he's got to be kidding right man flies out the window shut up jimmy put the horn on very nice jimmy the man explodes out of the window um, and we're going past trees while he's going past trees. This is in the past. This is in 89. The man flies out of the window. Um, his head slams into a tree. It, his head explodes like a bag of tomatoes. Tickets, because the tickets they are holding on to each other in his mouth. It turns out he has tickets lined all the way to the back to his lower intestine. Tickets burst out of his head like a, like a, um, like a, conf like a, if someone took a giant, uh, confetti wheel and they lit it on fire and then inside there was gasoline and explosives it blows up tickets fly everywhere and this was back in um, Jamaica to Queens so that's why um, Jamaica Queens for 74 years after that was known as the ticket state because of my grandfather it's true that's the truth I don't see any damn zombies is all I'm saying all we got is spooky weather this is crap some zombies. These crap. Maybe I should slow down. I don't know what these things mean. What do these things mean? 2D map. Nope, that's not helping anyone. Task logo. Chugga chugga choo choo chan away. Green Lightning, the ultimate creator of zombies. We got 1.76 miles. <clears throat> Trenton Station coming up, everyone. Repeat, Trenton Station coming up. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got some fires going on, everyone. We got some definite fires. Not a... Trenton Station is not looking too good, is all I'm saying, everyone. We're going to make an, a quick stop, everyone. Trenton Station is going to be a very quick stop, everyone. Uh, I would advise everyone in the train to not get off in goddamn Trenton Station because there's goddamn zombies. Oh, I should I should turn my windshield wipers on, shouldn't I? I don't know what button the windshield wipers on. Probably doesn't matter. Is it B? Nope, that's the bell button. Why would... Why would B be windshield wipers? It'd be W, if anything, which it isn't. Nope. Okay. And we're slowing down to a cool 35 miles per hour, everyone. We're arriving at Trenton Station. T-mine is 74 minutes. If you would like to get to Trenton Station, I'd advise not getting off at Trenton Station, mainly due to the many zombies inside of Trenton Station that will quickly thoroughly and quite horribly rip you into pieces, serve you on a plate, and sell them to other smaller baby zombies. So, once again, we are arriving at Trenton Station in T-minus 47 minutes. If you would like to get off at Trenton Station, I advise greatly, unless you are a professional zombie killer. In that case, I wish you luck and Godspeed.
And as you can see, Trenton Station, there's gonna be zombies at Trenton Station, aren't there? I'm gonna be afraid. I'm, I'm gonna be super afraid. Super scary Trenton Station, everything's green. These people are on the platforms, they look like monsters. Something in the rain must have changed them, but into what? I don't think opening the doors are gonna do it, dear, dear. Let's stop here and wait for help. Wait, we're, are we literally just stopping at Trenton Station? I guess we are. Chugga chugga choo choo. There we go. Not gonna open the doors because there's zombies outside, even though they don't look like zombies at all. Do, 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 zombies at all. These people here, they don't look like zombies, even though the game said they do. Oh, wait, they're just green. You decided not to open the doors. Instead, you wait for signs that the storm will pass or that rescue is on the way. Help is sure to revive. Isn't it? Huzzah! We have completed part one of the most bone-chilling game I have ever played, is all I'm saying. Let's see what we did. Um, two of two. We sped once, and what else did we do? Nothing. Rail engines experienced. I don't know what the hell that means. Okay, let's go to Help Doesn't Arrive, the next chapter in the heart-stopping tr Train Simulator 2013 game. Not sure if I'm going to go through all these. You guys can tell me if this is the best or worst thing you've ever seen, and then we'll go from there. All right, once again, Trains vs. Zombies 2, everyone. If you're just tuning in, if you left your computer on and this was a playlist and you went out for a sandwich, or maybe if um, your son was watching something and you just came upstairs and you're like, why didn't, why didn't John turn the goddamn computer off? And you're sitting down, don't turn this video off. We are playing Trains vs. Zombies 2, the most bone-chilling. You want to get in the Halloween spirit, you better sit down right now and keep watching this. You like trains, you like zombies, you like weather patterns and maybe cities, um, me mechanics, um, great stories of a bygone era when men wore hats and women wore dresses, then you sit down and you stay here because we're going to have some sweet fun. This is a loading screen right now. If those of you who don't know what a video game is, maybe um, I'm not very professional, so this I don't play these games very much, but this is going to get ridiculous. So sit on down. Forget about picking your kids up at work. I know you just you're seeing this right now, so just sit sit on down. Let's have some fun. It's gonna be some some good stuff. So, all right. Like I said before, it's a very uh, en engine graphic intensive game. So this is why the loading screen is taking very long to to finish because it's very very long. You're supposed to have like a NASA computer to finish these things. So I'm gonna take a sip of some um, whiskey and then we're gonna continue. Okay, last off in the adventures of we a uh, couple hours later. You moved away from the platform and waited, but no help came. The zombies outside seem to be ignoring the train as long as everyone inside is still and quiet. The storm seems to have knocked out the radio and phones. Passengers are frightened about the prospect of spending the night on board. However, it does look like the storm is subsiding. <clears throat> no one's phones work? What kind of shithole future is this? Doesn't look like anyone's coming to help, and I'm sure there are more of those things outside than before. I told the passengers we're going to try to get to New York. Whatever happens, let's get out of this place. It doesn't seem safe at all. Yes, let's go travel to an extremely populated area. Yeah, that'll make things, you know, super great. And let's do it at 45 miles an hour. Yeah, let's do it at a real slow pace. Goddamn zombies. Taking, taking all my goddamn shit. I'm going to turn the lights on because I'm a very cautious man. Ooh, we can turn the wipers on. Yeah, there we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Party time. There we go. What else you got? Open doors. Sander. I don't even know what that means. Horn and bell. I don't know what the bell's for. I don't know. Maybe that's if you're crossing. Oh, shit. I'm going. Oh, wait. No, we're going at 80 miles an hour. 
Are we stopping at Trenton? No, we're not. We're going to Hamilton. Screw you, Trenton. You suckers. Trenton Station, I have a feeling, is going to be like on fire. Oh, no one go faster than 80. Trenton Station, now on fire. 